This is the demonstration video for the two conveyors that will accompany the QP3. We have them linked together right now just to show communication between the two conveyors. We also have our SMEMA communication box connected which will show that SMEMA is fully functional. They're currently set at the correct height to mate with the QP3. The workstation has a overhead light. Get a view of the back side real quick. Both conveyors are on and in wait mode. You'll see that the red light on the SMEMA box is on, meaning it's calling a PCB from the previous conveyor. So we'll give it a board available signal. You'll hear the belts turn on. We'll put the board on. It will travel down this conveyor, then talk to the next one, turn that belt on, and travel all the way to the end. And you'll see the green light turn on on this MIMO box, which is now sending a board available signal or simulating a board available signal to the next piece of equipment. We'll repeat this three more times to fill the queue. You can see it'll stop there, not continue as it's backing up. Put the last one on. So now you notice the red light is out. Since the queue is full, it will not be calling any more product from the previous operation. Green light is still on, meaning it's still sending the signal down line. And we will start simulating the next machine which in this case could be could be the QP3 if this is before the QP and then the next three will advance You'll see the red lights back on because again it's calling now that the queue is empty. That's the demonstration of the two conveyors that will be going with the QP3. If you have any questions, please call.